All right, today we're using the SVA 545. This gun is super good at long and medium range. This class setup got me two nukes in two different games. Let's get right into the attachments. For the muzzle, I was using the quartermaster suppressor for the no red dots on the radar, gun kick control, as well as recoil control. For the underbarrel, I was using the XRK bow breaker grip, which is going to give you gun kick control, vertical recoil control, aiming idle sway, as well as for an aim stability. For the magazine, I had the 45 round mag. For the rear grip, I had the Demo 650 grip for the firing aim stability, gun kick control, as well as recoil control. Finally, for the stock, I had the main V6 stock. This is going to give you recoil control as well as gun kick control. Here is my full SMG Renetti setup on the screen. Make sure you guys pause the video if you guys need to here, as well as here to get down all the perks. And then here is the full class up on the screen. If you guys are new, make sure you guys like it, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. let's see what we can do we're on Greece, which is a very very good map personally at first i didn't like it but then i started i really it grew on me after i figured out how to play the map i don't even know where these freakers are shooting me from i hear you i don't know who you are though definitely gonna be one in this window right yep oh my god we have Freaking, what's his name? Hawkeye in this game. Reload. Now, one thing about this game at the start, I got the camo in a week, <laughs> which is pretty crazy. But I was playing excessive amounts just because also content. And my main goal of every single COD at the start is either. Number one, before they did all this uh, prestige master stuff and adding it back, the normal classic prestige system, it used to be, it always used to be get master prestige. And while I was doing that, I was trying to get the camos as well. Personally, I really do. I just want to stick at level 55 and, um, and get all the camos done, but... You know me. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do the camos while prestiging because I'm a madman. And I wonder how fast it's going to take to prestige in this game, in um, BO6. Because it really didn't take that long to level up in the beta, in my opinion. Oh, great. We just got knifed off our streak by a freaking bozo. And personally, I don't think that the... Um, they always add some stupid little field upgrade or, or some grenade that just makes the game just completely worse than it was before. They added um, they added a field upgrade that turns your name into a red name display for your uh, for the enemies. So one of those kids could literally look like they're on my team and instantly just fry me off my nuke. That's one thing I didn't like, but <laughs> you could probably use that to your advantage if I'm going to be honest. I'm going to try and get another nuke for you guys. But I'm excited to grind the camos as well as get prestige master because we haven't had that in a long time. And I remember back in the day. I'd literally do all-nighters while having school and just be extremely tired the next day. But it was all worth it then just getting Master Prestige and seeing level 1000. Now, I got the 100%er came up two times in BO4. <laughs> and that is just for the fact that someone that had my account fresh started me. And I didn't let that stop me from getting that 100%er and level 1000 and... I was like 200 levels off 1002, which is sucked a lot. But, you know, we got everything done again. And I'm really hoping that BO6 doesn't have, like, some really, really annoying challenges. Because I remember very vividly the challenges from BO4. They were absolutely... I mean, most of them were <laughs> absolutely horrible, like getting ninja defuses. I really hope that's not a thing. I know Cold War added 100%er, but they added it literally a week 
I'm pretty sure a week after Vanguard came out, which was very, very stupid because I actually would have done those challenges if I knew that they were going to add it. Right, there we go. We're on a 23 right now. I kind of want to play a lot more, a lot safer. Let's see what we can do. I don't know if you guys have ever seen TGF, but they're a channel that does the the dumbest stuff ever, in my opinion. But it's they, I don't know, they just make it super, super funny. And it, it, it reminds me a lot of my friend group of just doing stupid stuff, but they're actually doing it for views. And that's that's some type of content I would actually want to do. Like IRL content, because they they um if you don't know like driving instructors they had a driving instructor like that they paid for, and they got like a crappy car, and just started doing the stupidest stuff with it like flipping the thing, getting it stuck in ditches. <laughs> If you ever have time, you should definitely check them out. They're actually super funny. They just really haven't been uploading since that video. Because put them in... Um, I think it made like... The, they they couldn't do content anymore after that. Because the cops were like on them. Let's see. Oh, we got the knifer. Going off the nuke. Then we'll have a double nuke in this video. Let's get it. Double MGB. Obviously not one game. I've obviously had a double MGB in one game before. Previously on my channel. I'm not sure which videos they are, but you'll definitely know. I'm pretty sure recently I just uploaded a double MGB. Which was the, um, the BP-50 video. The BP-50 is absolutely disgusting with that aftermarket part, though. Or the conversion kit that turns it into an SMG. <laughs> Woo, that thing is amazing. In every COD, you always want to make sure you have 120 FOV. Or just at least change your FOV in some sort of way. Because if you're on 80 FOV, people that are doing movement, sliding and doing skating, are definitely going to get you in the next COD. With all that movement... But, a sort of good thing is that the next COD really doesn't have too much aim assist. Which, I don't really care about, if I'm going to be honest. I'm not the best with my shots, but I'm also not the worst. But I feel like it, it's going to make it a little bit even for the PC players as well as console players. But, I really wish that they didn't have that... Because I saw the keyboard and mouse players have like a super high advantage close up. <laughs> Hopefully they fix that. Well, let's call this thing in. I'm not sure when I'm going to be doing face cam. It's definitely going to be in BO6 though. Let's see. Got you. Got you. We got a no, 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 no. Oh, I thought it was a freaking UIV. It's fine. I really did try to cancel it too. Dang. Did it again. I'm pretty sure. Uh, nah, the last game I'm pretty sure just ended it really quick. But there you go. I got you guys some really, really good double MGB gameplays. If you guys are new, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.